How to do a lazy daisy. This is really similar to the chain stitch. Bring your needle up and then pop it right down where you came from. Stitch it one forward to the end of where you'd like the loop or the leaf or the petal to end and bring it up through that loop that you've made. Don't pull it too tight because you want to have that lovely rounded look. And then to secure the stitch, simply pop it over the very end of the loop and that little stitch is going to hold it in place. So you can see, you can either make a really simple petal or leaf shape, or I'm going to show you how to combine these to make a flower. So up you come, down through the same spot, bring your thread forward to the end of where you want the shape to be, but make sure you're leaving that loop. And then when you bring your needle up, you pull it through that loop. Don't pull too tight, just be careful you keep your shape you want and then secure over the end of the loop with one little stitch. Use your thumb to help hold the shape you want in place. And then we can make a flower. So bring your needle up at a starting point and do exactly what I just showed you, but you're going to do that in a circular manner to make a beautiful flower shape. It's up to you whether you sew or stab this method, just whatever feels right. You can do as many petals as you want to make a flower. Keep securing the end of each petal as you go. Just keep going around and then when you get to the end, simply knot it off underneath. Isn't that an easy way to make a flower? And that's the Lazy Daisy Method.